OG Fortnite is beloved by many for many reasons. Nostalgia, the map, the loot pool, but there is one thing from OG Fortnite that really stuck with me. The atmosphere. Fortnite has always managed to be charming and creative with its aesthetics, themed seasons, even in this disgusting era of one year long chapters and metaverse slop, we still get some charming content and some nice aesthetics. But the atmosphere nowadays just does not compare to that of OG Fortnite. Back in the day, maybe like pre-season 5, just aimlessly walking around the abandoned Fortnite island in solos was scary. The land felt haunted, and even the mechanical noises of the storm would make me jump. Final Circle in Wailing Woods always made me feel uneasy, as if someone would pop out behind a tree or something. There were also a bunch of creepy pauses at the time like Slenderman and the Wailing Woods Bunker that added to the charm. OG Fortnite always felt so eerie. It feels as if you're not supposed to be there, as if you shouldn't even be alive. This feeling is created by the many ruins of suburbs, factories, and shops across the map. We get glimpses of a society that once thrived here, but now it's all empty and you're surviving for your life. The mysteries in the OG map also helped build this atmosphere. Sometimes what we don't know is scarier than what we do because our mind fills in the gaps. Across the map, there were signs of an apocalypse that occurred and we could only piece together what started it. There are many sheds across the map that have the same symbol relating to the storm. There are also factories that share this symbol, and back in season 4 there were these vendor tech government trucks moving around. All this created this uneasy feeling that the government in Fortnite was up to no good, accidentally created the storm, and you, a survivor of the apocalypse, was left in the darkness, unaware of anything, yet forced to fight for your survival. To be honest, this probably isn't the true cause for the apocalypse in Fortnite, or if there even was one, uh, because they introduced Kevin, the Cube, the Cube Queen, and the Herald, and then I lost track of the Fortnite storyline, so maybe that was the actual story, maybe it wasn't, I have no idea. But anyways, this unique atmosphere only reminds me of one other thing ever, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Although you figure out exactly what happened in the apocalyptic event, the Great Calamity, in the beginning of the game, you have no idea what's going on. You can pick up some context clues here and there, but the rest is a mystery for the player to piece together. This serene atmosphere of ruins and traces of the past for you to explore in solitude is much like OG Fortnite's, with nature kind of taking over everything. OG Fortnite had an atmosphere of survival, but also dread. This uneasy feeling really made OG Fortnite special, because the gameplay wasn't just fun, but the atmosphere perfectly complemented it, resulting in an unreplicatable experience.